50 metres from the beach is the most amazing boat I've ever been on. No, 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 not that way. 50 metres that way. This is the Old Barge, built in 1970 by the Clooney's Ross family to collect coconuts from neighbouring islands. It's been recycled a number of times during its life, including time as an inter-island ferry. And today its cargo is the artistic treasure of the island. It was rescued by a local woman, Emma Washer, who has a bit of passion for recycling things from the ocean. So Emma, where was she when you found her? Well, she was pretty hidden. You'd never see her. She was actually tucked down into the jungle at the north end of the island. So she was rolled up on coconut logs and left there and we found her about six years later. We did it over eight years. So that was the journey of the restoration and actually moving it here because it's probably about a 12 ton boat. So we had to work with those logistics as well. I noticed that across from the gallery, you've actually got an art studio. I do, I do, my favourite getaway. Um, yeah, I have lots of fun there. I get to work on my own projects, but also enjoy sharing the space for workshops with locals and yeah, visitors to the island so they can play with the materials we find here as well. And before I can say Robinson Crusoe, I'm out collecting supplies with Emma to create a very cocus memento. So Emma, what's your fascination with all things flotsam? Oh, I just think it's just the uniqueness of the materials, like where they've come from. Just, yeah, environmentally, just getting them off the beach. Is there anything in particular that you look for? Yeah, I do. One of those right there. This is mm -hmm. my favourite thing to work with. Dongs. <laughs> Interesting choice. I was thinking shells, but obviously I am no artist. Back at the barge, the art room stores the treasures Emma has collected on her many beach climbing expeditions. They're all carefully colour coded and ready to use. And the walls display beautiful fresh artworks for inspiration. I'm still trying to figure out the thong bit though. So yeah, you'll just be wanting to use, um, yeah, thongs obviously we're creating uh, sort of ocean palette colours. So trying to find parts of the thongs that have nice textures. Um, this one is involved like, yeah, getting squares to represent those colours in the water and then yeah, we'll just be cutting them out. Does it disturb you that there are so many thongs out there to use for your classes? <laughs> Uh, yeah, it is quite disturbing, but it's nice to be able to do something with them and get them off the beaches. With my skills, I'm thinking we may need the wig, but who cares? I'm catching up on all the island gossip and eventually I'll have a memento of my time here that is quite unique. If you're still here when the sun sets, and uh, I may yet be, you're in luck because Emma actually recycles the barge once more. She turns it into an outdoor movie theatre just as the sun is setting over that beautiful Indian Ocean. If you want to see the art, or the barge, or even make your own memento of your trip to Cocos, contact the Cocos Keeling Visitor Centre for details.